Welcome back, my friends, to another episode of Automotive Drama. Still working on this old uh, classic truck. And see those lines right there? Those little white lines? Right where those studs are sticking out? That's where the control arm used to be. And I apologize, I kind of overjumped this video a little bit because I really need to get this truck done. But, uh, well, so the reason I marked those is so I can put the uh, upper control arm back in there. And the reason I'm actually taking it out is because if you see all the oil, and it's just oil soaked everywhere, I'll show you that in a minute. They're just oil soaked, they're wasted. Um, and I was kind of hearing a rattle out of this truck. Now, because I, this thing you see I strapped this, because I don't want to hurt the brake hose, but you see uh, this ball joint, I already told him about the boot, he don't care about that because he can grease it, as long as you keep it greased, it be years before that ball joint goes out, but um, it's already been replaced so I was able to take the bolts out of the control arm, which normally they're riveted in, instead of having to break the... Uh, swing arm off of it so I don't know if that's a plus or benefit yet because I still got to get back to kind of in the same place where it was and if you take the swing arm off then that's definitely in the same spot but I'm trying not to mess with the alignment on this truck um, come over here to the bench I did kind of jump the steps a little bit but I really need to get this thing done so I already knocked the uh, control arm bushings out you can see how oil soaked they are and they're just ripped just ripped now I thought for sure I heard the rattle that rusty that could have been a rattle but I don't know but you can see they're just gone the other side it just looks like the, actually the other side the upper has been replaced now to get these things out it's a pain in the ass I actually have a special tool that's made just for them. And very expensive. Now to press them back in, you're going to need this tool. The good old fashioned ball joint service set. Because to press them back in, you have to use probably that little coupler, which I think fits just perfectly. And you have to press them back into the control arm. Now make sure before you try to put any of this back together that it's super clean uh, because all this little debris that's all that in there is just going to hang it up when you're trying to press it in and these were there's a little lip right there see that little lip you want that on as flush as you can See where I'm going right there? This outer lip. Make sure that's flushed all the way. Now, it ain't easy to do even with this tool because I gotta take, I gotta do them one at a time, and then I have to like tighten up one. We'll get to that. This is only part one. I've got other videos on how to actually put these things in, and they're a real pain in the ass. These actually came out a lot easier than most, so. Hopefully getting them back in won't be so tough. But anyways, part one of how to change the upper control arm bushings on a, actually a conventional steering system. Most GMs and Fords use this and Chryslers on most of their trucks, especially the little small bodies. But uh, let me uh, get this all set up and uh, I'll show you how they go in in here in a minute. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more episodes, my friends.